y'all. Welcome back to the channel. I am Lady Nika. Uh, I apologize that I am not on camera. I'll be on camera again tomorrow, but I'm not on camera today because truth be told, I'm still in the bed. But I was scrolling over there on the Facebook and one of my little things sent me a little story by Love B. Scott. Well, the story goes as follows. As we all know, a couple months back, Escape announced that they would be reuniting, having a little mini tour. Um, they announced that they would be performing in Essence Fest, but they were also looking to do a docu series about the group. Well, that group, well, they found a home for that. Okay, their home is going to be on Bravo. It will come on in November. When the Real Housewives of Atlanta returns, it's going to piggyback off of that show. And it's being produced by none other than Mona Scott, young of the Love and Hip Hop franchise. Now, my problem with that situation is simply this. Mona, although I, I give Mona full credit for everything that she does, I still can't forget the fact that Mona Scott Young is the queen of drama. If there's any issues within that, that group still, Mona's going to find a way to bring that out. I'm kind of nervous about Mona being over that, over that group, because well, over that show, because of those very same reasons. But y'all tell me what you think. Do you think that it's going to be okay for Mona Scott Young to be the person over a docu-series about the group Escape? Or do you think they should possibly find someone else, someone who is less inclined, you know, less inclined to have the drama going on? I don't know. I don't know. I just I don't too much care for that idea that Mona Scott Young is going to be producing this show. It could be good. She could keep down the drama. But see, my main concern is that it took almost 20 years for these girls to reunite. And we all heard, you know, the stories about how each one, how, you know, their individual problems and sometimes their problems with one another. We know about the problems the group experienced. Now, after almost 20 years, they reunited and they still got that voice. But I'm kind of scared that if they go into the reality TV uh, realm, that it could be bad for their group. I have not seen a reality show yet where drama doesn't unfold. You know, drama is what gets ratings. I just wonder if the bonds that they have re they have found with one another again is strong enough to withhold it. You know, are they strong enough to stay together despite the fact that they've had these issues in the past? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I just felt a, long, a little uneasy about all of that. Anyway, I'm going I'm to link... Um, B, uh, Love B. Scott's article down in the uh, description box down below. And y'all can go over and check out that article. Also down in the panic section, y'all come in and let me know what you think about Escape having a reality show on Bravo in November. Um, it's supposed to come on right after The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Tell me how you feel about Mona Scott Young being the person that's going to bring this docu-series slash reality show to Bravo TV on um, Sunday nights. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. I don't know. Maybe I'm just jumping the gun. Maybe I'm not giving Mona a fair chance. I'm willing to listen to what you guys have to say. I just don't feel too easy about Mona Scott Young being the person over it. But, hey, we're going to see, okay? Um, I'll be back, like I said, tomorrow on cam and we're gonna talk a little bit more about different things whatever it is that come up in my mind that i want to talk about but i just i saw that and i really wanted to come down here and have this conversation with you guys and see what you think about it all right y'all remember the depth of your struggle will always determine the height of your success in the meantime in between time please rate this video like us uh, comment down below Subscribe to my channel and share this video. I will cam up tomorrow. Y'all have a good one. Peace.